guys. Welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your uh, first half of your February from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, and my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too. So tell me about Gemini in love. What's going on with Gemini in love? Tell me about Gemini in love for the first half of the February from the 1st to 15th and the person that they are connecting with. Page of Cups and the Five of Swords here. Um, there is someone here that's not, that basically is not giving you what you want. Whatever this is, I feel like this person keeps dropping the ball on you. I feel like this person's playing a lot of mind games here. Okay. Uh, Ten of Pentacles here and the Devil. Wow. In this situation that you're in with this person, it's starting to become really toxic here. And I feel like you're starting to realize that or that you're starting to see the red flags here with this person. I feel like this person makes a lot of false promises here. Okay, and I feel like anything that goes wrong here, I feel like this person flips the script and blames it on you. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles here. We have the King of Swords. Interesting. I feel like you smell BS from like a mile away and I feel like you're, you're completely disengaging and not wasting your time on this person anymore. I feel like you smell the BS or that you saw the red flags really quickly and I feel like you're just kind of like high tilled it out of there. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. Whoever this is, this person's definitely playing and messing around with your emotions here. This person's definitely making a lot of promises here. They're not keeping it. I do feel like this person definitely has other people that they're dealing with here too. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. We have the Devil here and the King of Cups. This person made you feel or is making you feel very, 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 very alone. Yeah, I feel like emotionally you're really investing into this relationship, really investing into this connection here. And I feel like this person is just kind of playing games here. Seven of Pentacles and the Star card here. The King of Swords here. And the Justice card. I do feel like you're dealing with the karmic here. Yeah, I do feel like you're dealing with the karmic here. I also feel like this is a same-sex couple. I feel like whoever you're dealing with here, Gemini, <coughs> I feel like this person has given you a lot of false hope here. Yeah, a lot of false hope here. Tell me that the person that Gemini is dealing with here, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini? For the first half of their February from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Six of Wands here and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Little Sag. There is someone here that you're dealing with here that's completely operating in the ego here. This person's definitely looking for a lot of attention, not just from you, but from other people here. Ten of Swords here and the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Lots of tens here. So what's happening? I see, I see you basically ending things with this person here. Yeah, and not taking things, not taking anything, like not going any further with this individual. You know, I feel like you don't care what this person does. You know, you don't care if this person showers you, showers you with gifts. You don't care if this person's trying to romance you here. I just feel like you're completely done with this. And yeah, you're closing the door on this individual here. I feel like you've been hurt here. This is affecting your happiness here in a really big way here, Gemini. And I feel like one of the things that, you know, most Geminis hate or doesn't like is that people waste their time. 
you know? So the uh, King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Death card, Scorpio energy. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio. Three of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like what's happening is I feel, I feel like you're freeing yourself from this devil energy here. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from this karmic here. Yeah, this, this, is, this is definitely some sort of lesson that you're learning here. This is definitely a karmic relationship. Yeah, I do feel like you, you, you're, you're being enlightened by this whole situation or this whole situation is awakening you here. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Sun card, Leo energy, and the Two of Cups. What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know? Maybe there's something that you need. Yeah, maybe there's something that you need, needed to learn in the situation here. Also for the other person here too. But whoever this is, I, I feel like this person in a way, I feel like this person is obsessed and really crazy about you here. But it's just, it just seems like a very dysfunctional connection. Yeah, very dysfunctional. Could be dealing with someone here that has narcissistic tendencies here with the three of wands here and the four of pentacles. Yeah, just don't hold your breath for this individual to change and they feel like you're not. Yeah, with the lovers here and the queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. There's definitely a strong soul type between you and this person. Uh, there's, this connection is definitely very, 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 very intense. And I feel like you're realizing that, you know, you would be delusional if you think that this is going to work out. You know, I feel like, the, you know, relationships can work out. The problem is, you know, the equal amount of effort has to be put in by the by both individuals here. And I feel like this person's one person's in, in complete la la land, and I feel like there's someone here, the other person's on solid ground here. With a chariot here and the three of wands. Yeah, I see you moving away from this here. I see you making a decision here to uh, like sort of like take off here four of pentacles here and the page of pentacles whoever you're dealing with here i don't feel like this person has anything solid to offer here okay i do feel like uh, i do feel like you're gonna move towards a new beginning here manifest the relationship that you want in this relationship here because i feel like you know that it's not going anywhere here gemini okay so we have the magician gemini virgo and the world card here Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups here and the Ten of Cups. Whatever this person has created here, you're realizing that this was an illusion here. Yeah, you're realizing that this is an illusion here because I feel like you're walking on eggshells with this person or that you're really stressed out or that you're feeling a lot of worries here, you know, because I feel like you know that you're feeling that there's something that's not right here and I feel like your intuition's right, you know? Um, so, you know, I do feel like, you know, you are doing the right thing by stepping away from this and learning the lessons that you have to learn by being away from this person here because I feel like being around this person is not really getting you anywhere. Yeah, I feel like this person's completely just obsessed, really crazy about you here. And I just feel like this person does not live in reality, okay? So uh, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.